Hey guys, welcome to another video brought to you by Total Control Traders. We are not going to waste a moment today. Let's get right into the market. And video will likely be a little bit short today as well, but longer than yesterday. Ultimately, there are some key reactions that we're watching. All right, on the daily. So there is a potential megaphone that's playing out and we are right on that key support 3809 that must hold if 3809 were to break we're looking down at the gp which lines up with previous key support resistance zone at around 3706 we have now lost the what do they call it um, pandemic trend line this one down here so we have lost the pandemic trend lines for the first time ever since it formed the two bounces before and now we are losing it and from here most ideal entry remains at this 2008 trend line which lines up with almost a 0.382 as well as the previous high zone right here resistance support support multiple supports so right here would be an ideal entry then from there we could be looking down at the GP of this whole move from November so market remains bearish on the daily you can see clear choppy action for the last few days bounce on February 24th bounce again on Monday on the four hours we are rejecting from this trend line again that John had pointed out. So there's a GP. Hold on one sec. There we go. So this is a, essentially a GP rejection as well as a trend line rejection today. We can see here was the formation of a trend line. One, two, now the third rejection. So we're working down under the key support right now, but holding it so far on the four hour, it is a little bit extended let's take a look at what happened today so today already market opened and there was a bounce then from there already eight was the re was the resistance that kept pushing the chart down If we were to lose this 3809 overnight, we'll be looking at further bear action. However, considering how we're extended from the 4R8, we could be looking at a formation of a lower high. Let's take a look at VIX. VIX was kind of interesting today. We got over the upper trend line of the wedge again and immediate back test, then closed near the high of the day. So this is an interesting uh, it's a bullish engulfing candlestick on the daily. And the way that we're popping right now, the time, the timing of it is quite interesting because we don't usually see this short of a pop back to back and then back to back again. So market volatility continues to increase. Um, I would imagine there's going to be another rejection at or some sort of stall around here. 30.5 to 35. Now let's look at US dollars. As for US dollars, there is not too much of a sign for bullish action yet. The daily eight is supporting. We are trading above it. So tomorrow will be key. If we were to ha have a breakout tomorrow, market will likely to, is very likely to see a pullback, further pullback. Bitcoin, Nothing exciting. Bull volume outweighing the bear volume. Still looking for that monthly bull flag to form. Chart is still strong though. How is the bonds doing? Slight pullback. So this could be an ABC formation. If this is an ABC formation, we will be looking down below 
the previous key zone around 7.361. Now this is a US 10 year over two year bond yield rate. All right. And that's it for the market. Let's get into the hottest stickers. We looked at Bitcoin already. So let's do Tesla. To continue bearish action, the 88 remains to be the resistance. The 88 is the guide. And when I was looking at this earlier today, I found that if you use the GP from the beginning of the bounce or the beginning of this run, it will line up with the lower trend line of the channel, the long term channel that we had since the run of January 2020. It also lines up with this previous key zone of resistance and support. Though it's only twice, so not too not too strong of a zone, but it does line up with the other two. So that would be an ideal entry right around that 585 area. GP 576 to 592. So if this is an ABC, we actually haven't even seen a bounce yet. So it's going to be hard to draw a fib extension. You're going to have to see a bounce from here somewhere over the next few days in order to form that B. So right now, this is A. Can you look for that B? All right, next is PLTR. So CNBC pump after hours, we are seeing after hours trading up 5.55% right now, straight into that resistance. Resistance at 25.16 and we're trading at 24.90. So tomorrow is gonna be key. Today's volume actually outweighed yesterday's bear volume slightly, but decreasing volume now we don't want to see a sustained bear volume from here still thinking bullish action to come based on these two biggest bull volume ever now this is a delayed reaction due to, partially due to the market having pull having pulling back for the last how many days now how long has it been okay it's not letting me draw it There we go. 12 trading days. And I think my keyboard start stopped working. All right, back. So PLTR. Uh, from here, we want to see bullish reversal tomorrow. Trading over, closing over that 88. This has been a continued resistance for a long time ever since we broke under on February 11th. Now let's see some reversal. Right next is DKNG. Okay, let's do that. So one to one extension has been reached today. Gap up open right into that one to one. Highest of 72, or 72, 16, 121 extension and 71.53. From there, we saw big selling pressure pushing us down, took profits today. Congrats, DKNG bulls who entered, whether you entered on, what is that, Thursday? No, Friday or Monday, you should have seen a decent return. Now, aftermarket is trading up a little bit. Regardless, with this kind of bear pressure, bearish engulfing candlestick, big bear volume, would expect further downside from here. Next, FSR. And my keyboard is still not working, so give me one sec. And we're back, FSR. Huge upper wick yesterday, similar idea to DKNG, one-to-one -one extension target, overshot it, and formed the big upper wick. Now we're seeing a huge selling pressure. Bouncing from the 88 volume wise, 
this is actually very interesting. I do see continuation on this ticker. Very little bearish volume after a huge bull volume. However, the pullback, the price action pullback has been a lot more than ideal. We are unlikely to see a daily bull flag to form from here unless we gap up open and then start slowly sell off, trade sideways kind of thing. So there is still a chance to see bull flag forming on the daily. But let's see what tomorrow's volume brings first. You don't want to see either low bear volume or decent bull volume tomorrow. If we start seeing increasing, comparing to the first uh, 15 minute of today actually. So if we start seeing bear volume outweighing today's first 15, 30 minute bear volume, then we're likely to see further downside. So keep an eye on FSR. There could be a very decent play here. Next, Zoom. I think it continues selling off. So I hope you got out the G. Seeing a hold. Okay, that was weird. We're trading right in that key zone right now. Continued selling off. Slight decrease in bear volume. No sign of no sign of stopping yet. Let's see four hours. So slight bullish divergence forming, but huge bear volume can be easily negated by one more leg, one more push down. Not a good chart to be trading if you're a bull. Amazing chart to be trading if you're a bear. Gonna keep an eye on this. Just wanna see what kind of reaction there is. Looks like there may have been, I don't know if you can call this uh, head and shoulders. Cause neckline is not trending upwards, but regardless, huge bear pressure coming in. Right, next up are the top watches. Amazon not really in top watch anymore, but I do want to keep an eye on it. Daily, still making lower lows. It's gonna take time for this play to present itself, for a decent setup to present itself. A lot of these, uh, what is this? Oh, alert. Um, a lot of these trend lines and whatnot don't really apply anymore. Yeah, this upper one doesn't really apply. This inside one doesn't apply either. Lots of breakout fake outs. If you look at this wedge from back here, breakout fake out, breakdown fake out. Then the new a new wedge and breakout fake out. Now is it gonna be a breakdown fake out? Regardless long-term zone since July, when it moves, it is really gonna move. It's okay to be late on this one. Don't be early. We can continue to go sideways. There's gonna be lots of opportunity once it breaks all the resistances. Next one, similar idea, NVIDIA. Breakout fake out, coming back down to the low of key zone. Tomorrow is gonna be key. If we lose this zone, we'll be looking down at 468.17. Next one, BA. Seeing some bullish action today. Rejection from the trend line. Pandemic trend line, support. Broke down under, resistance. Two times, three times, gapped up above. Gap down below, resistance again, so a clear trend line to be watching out for. Let's uh, remove these ones. After ours is a flat. 
decent bull volume today. Lack of bear volume yesterday. So anticipation. Let's see if tomorrow get brings us further bull volume. Very little bear bear volume, but it's still pushing it down relatively quickly. So that's very interesting. But based on the volume, I would anticipate further upside. First sign of bull confidence would be to break this trend line. If you're not in, if you're in, you're in the sweet spot. Nothing to worry about. Key to hold is roughly about 208. Yeah. You can clearly see increasing bull volume too. So nice play. All right, next is AAL for the bullish action today. All airlines, uh, including BA, saw bullish momentum today. Making a new high, not new all-time high, but new 52-week high. Yeah, now it's a new 52-week high, but coming right back down after. Decent bull volume. Clearly a lot of these charts need to be, needs to be cleaned up. Watch for that increasing bull volume tomorrow. Will likely form a bullish divergence if we were to make a new high tomorrow. I mean, bearish divergence if we were to make a new high tomorrow. All right next is ABNB. I think it's coming down to near our. Oh yeah. So this head and shoulder pattern is playing out. Neckline has now been broken. Tomorrow would expect further increased bear volume, pushing it further down. So within tomorrow or a day after, we'll be looking at this ideal entry between 166 to 168. Next, skills. Huh, looks a little bit similar. Head and shoulder pattern. This one no longer in play. Let's not use that one. And we will draw a neckline over here. So, Left shoulder, head, right shoulder, now forming, holding that neckline today so far, but increasing bear volume, very similar to chart to Airbnb actually. So if this neckline were to be, bro to be broken, let's take a look at where the fib extension lies. One to one extension would we'll be looking down at 1775. That is quite some ways away. However, would anticipate some sort of support around this trend line GP key zone, right around that $28 range. Trying to see if there's anything remarkable here. Nope. Gonna have to watch for tomorrow. Keep skills on your top watch. A, B, yeah. If it ever gets gets down to the 1775 zone, I would go heavy in it, personally. Next. Let's do APHA. Breakout, fake out yesterday, coming right back down, fading all the way. Decent bull volume yesterday at the open, and then just faded all day. Now we're fading right back into the wedge. With a key support resistance that's coming up. Not very clear. Yep. 
You could say it's that zone, but it doesn't look too clear to me. So watch for the volume. This generally should indicate further upside. So far, the follow through has not been ideal. Ideal entry around this lower trend line. All right, next, that's it for the top watches. Next, let's do some uh, requested tickers. First one, Apple. Further fading? Yes, further fading. Let's see the four hours. No divergences, charts cooled off on the four hour a little bit. We could see further downside. After hour is trading down slightly, 0.14%. Nothing too interesting, watch for the reversal. Most of the tickers are gonna be based on uh, what the market's doing, except if you were looking at the banking stocks, there is a clear rotation right now. So to show you guys in this example, I think it's YSG. That doesn't look right. No. There it is, FAS. Bull three times uh, banking finance look at this it has been strong bull action irregarding the market pullback so sector rotation from tech to safety or conservative is clearly seen right now today we saw slight pullback on FAS based on the charts choppy actions to come. There is a huge bearish divergence formed. Now would expect further downside. Anyways, let's go back to Apple. Yeah, be patient on Apple. When it moves, it will, it should really move. Similar idea, sideways action since July, August. So this should provide decent return and it's apple so not too much need to be said next baidu bear divergence on the date on the four no on the daily is now really playing out big bear volume bearish engulfing candlestick bulls unable to push it up anywhere yesterday Daily 8 is the guide. Next, let's do open. All right, similar idea. Similar idea. Earnings tomorrow and big bear volume right now, still holding that lower trend line. Tomorrow will likely dictate which direction is going to go, whether if we hold this trend line or trading down under it. Key trend line to hold. We can see one, two, three, four, five, five, now potential six bounce from it. All right, next is CCIV. Huge bear action, didn't even touch a daily eight yet. Expecting continuation of a sell off. Blew through all sorts of support. There is looking like zero buyers on this chart. Yeah, so you, if you zoom, zoom into the already, you can see there's basically zero buyers on this ticker right now. There's a couple more that I wanted to go through. QS. There's a few more. All right, QS, bearish, into that gap fill territory now. On the gap fill, what I'll be looking at price-wise, 45.90 is the gap fill, roughly about $2.22 away. From here, would expect gap down tomorrow. Big bearish candlestick on slight increasing bear volume. On the gap down, if we're to gap straight into the gap fill territory, 
would expect a bounce. Next, FUBO. Breaking under the lower trend line of the wedge. We did see another break before, but these two are decent bear volumes coming in with increasing bear volume. So tomorrow would expect further downside earnings is negative 252% on Tuesday. Looks like the bears are really coming out to react now. All right, next few are Wall Street bets. Jimmy, gonna quickly go through them. See if anything interesting. Decreasing bull volume, sideways action. Still forming a bull flag on the daily. Let's see the reaction at the daily eight. Next, wrecked. Jeez, huge bull volume yesterday. Huge upper, uh, not upper wick. Big close near the high of the day, and today is just gap down, sell off. Pump and dump. Tomorrow. Today essentially is an inside bar to yesterday. Tomorrow would anticipate either inside bar or further downward action. Seventy one percent in one single day. Yeah. All right. Next AMC. Decreasing bear. Actually looks pretty decent. Daily bull flag forming. Not the most, most ideal looking of a bull flag, but it is daily bull flag on decreasing bear volume. So let's see the reaction at the daily eight. Ideally tomorrow, there could be a setup here. Next, UWMC. Similar to Rekt, except it gapped up huge today with big sell off. Today's gap up was 33.3% gap up. So congrats for those that swung UWMC yesterday. This would have been a huge profit for you. 33.3% gap up. Then from there, went up a little bit, rejected from the key resistance 1232 and continued selling off. After hours, we are trading up a little bit at 10.05, not expecting that to hold. All right, last couple that I wanted to go through are Air Canada. Nice continuation, starting to get a little bit extended from a daily eight. Bull volume still decent. There's a little bit of bear divergence forming on the daily. We could continue to run just like last time. So if you're in, stay in. Inverse head and shoulders, really nice follow through. Sustained bull volume, bear volume slightly increasing now comparing to the different periods. So let's see more follow through and negate this bear divergence. Last but not least, Suncor. Slight upper wick. Oh, nice. Dividend today. And volume, nothing interesting. We're going to need to make it to 30.23 before that gap fill territory. Let's mark this. Daily 8 continues to be support. All right. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to give the thumbs up. If you're looking to build that pot of gold and enjoy the content that we provide, please consider subscribing to our channel where we provide new videos daily. Also, check out our website at totalcontroltraders.com. We offer seven, free, seven day free trial to our chatting platform where trading ideas are shared and charts are reviewed live. Hope you guys stay safe and be in control. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next video.